Hello, hello, welcome back to the infected, and we have a thunderstorm going on. Really, big thunderstorm. Uh, looks like I need something. Let's see what old Betty needs. She needs some carbs, and of course I don't have any. So we're going to have to brave that rain and see if we can find some food. Let's see. Let's do some running around here and see if we can find something growing. I do have my foliage turned down because in the beginning it is just so hard to find anything. Food, whatever. Ah, there we go. There's one. Uh, corn will help. That'll bring up our uh, a little bit. That'll bring up our vitamins. To get ten vitamins for a piece of corn, which is very nice. It helps a little bit with the carbs, but it does bring up the vitamins a little. Let's see what else we can run across. And I've noticed that if you make a circuit around your property and look around, hello piggy. I'm sorry, I'm got I'm going to have to have some protein and it's too rainy to fish, so uh, looks like you're going to be it. Over this way. Spear back. Eat a harvesting. I am so sorry, but I need some meat. I know. I know. Did I miss any veggies back here? I don't think so. I thought I had run by a uh, potato plant. Let's get back over here. And I'll turn around and look again. It just takes patience. And I do. I've got some meat now, so I don't have to worry about that. And people wonder why. I play without the aggressive creatures. To me, it makes the game a little bit harder because there's not as much meat out there. You would think it, in some ways it makes it easier because you don't have anything attacking you, but you're still... Uh, have a hard time finding protein. Not having, oh, there goes the rain. Not having much luck finding anything today. Come on, game. I need carbs. I really do. But sometimes if you make the circuit and then you backtrack, something will grow in behind you. So don't lose hope. Even if you don't see anything on your first trip around, there's a good possibility you'll find some on the second. But one thing I do want to do today I want to get those uh, forges finished. Okay, looky there. Let's get over here and grab this. Cucumber, that'll help with carbs. Let's eat those. We're going to 
going to get those two pieces of meat on the fire. That helped a little bit more. They're slowly going up. I know one thing, if I had to eat as much carbs and veggies as this old lady does, then I'd be so fat I couldn't move. Okay, doesn't look like I have any kind of, have to get some more sticks. Get those sticks in there. Get that lid. Get our food cooking a little bit. Let's go put this hiding stuff up. I need to make a bow here pretty quick. And yeah, this box. Okay. I've got my two hide now to make the bow. Let's get that seed over there. So now I have at least one of each type of food or each type of fruit and veggie that's growing. That helps a lot. Let's go ahead and put these. If I have, no, I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them in here. I only need one more and I'll have that forge finished. Let's make one more quick run around the perimeter just to see if run sheep run. There's a potato. See what I mean about them growing in behind you? That helps. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe I can find a watermelon or a melon or something else. There's a melon. Almost walk right by it. If your foliage is up high, you're not going to be able to see the potatoes and the melons hardly at all. You really, really have to look for them. So I just kind of keep the foliage down for a little bit. What do we got over here? Got a watermelon? And it is. Let's grab you too. See, it's worth making a second tour around your area. There's another cucumber. Hopefully this is going to be enough to uh, get my carbs up decent. I'm going to go back and eat those two little pieces of meat and eat these carbs. Those uh, rotten pieces of logs that's laying on the ground get me every time because if you look at them a certain way, it looks almost like a watermelon. Okay, got a few more carbs. Let's grab our meat. Get our belly full because we're going to need proteins are low, so we're going to need that. Didn't fill it up all the way, but it's better. I'm going to eat the potatoes. Potatoes can be cooked on the campfire, but most of the time I just eat them raw. Let's eat the cucumber, let's eat the melon. The melon brought my carbs all the way up. I'm going to eat a piece of watermelon just to bring my thirst up a little bit. There we go. So all I need is just a few pro proteins and some vitamins and we'll be at 100%. Let's go pick up my box. Oh, there's another melon. Pick up my box and uh, see if we can find some more 
Well, let's go over and get this melon. Now, once you make a circuit or two, you'll start running across food fairly quickly. Okay, that's two of them done. Two, there's two in there. This is empty. So let's take this. Not that I'm going to have to go get a bunch of firewood. Grab that. Let no stone be left behind. Let's get off of the property because I don't want to get into the uh, uh, copper right now. I just soon leave it there. Bring up my pickaxe to get to your tools. All of you do is hit your number. I have my axe on one, my pickaxe on two, and my two spears on three and four. But you can put them however you want. Pick up the stones. It's just E. To move them into the box, I'm using Alt, right click. And it moves, moves them over one at a time. E to open and close your box. In, in to pick up and move the box. E to put it down. You left click to chop everything up. That's the action key. Chop your book. Chop your pick 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 your rocks. That doesn't sound right. Uh, break up your rocks uh, to uh, chop down trees. You're going to use the E key. You you use or the left mouse button. Use E to open and close things. I don't know. I'm rambling this morning. My husband normally goes to the YMCA or YWCA every morning to uh, exercise and it had been closed for a week for maintenance and he finally started going back yesterday. I am so happy. That means I get a little bit of time to myself and he can go back. He's, he's basically all of the kids that work there as lifeguards and have adopted him as an honorary grandpa so he, he loves going over there. But yeah, he doesn't get much done because everybody wants to sit and talk to him. these in there. Well, that'll get another one, maybe two going. We'll see. And I'll pick, should have some room to pick up a couple of them on the way back. Like I said, it's just in to pick it up, pick up the box and E to put it back down. Let's get this back in here. I don't care how I'm going to place it because I'll have to go back out again. I, 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 I would like to get this going, these built today so we can start smelting our rocks down to fragments. Get us some iron bars made. Here's another one made. I can start working with three, that's no problem. Oh. 
try to get this one as much in there as I can. Okay, one more box ought to do it for now. Let's go to it. Let's go back over here. Chop that one down. Break it up. Whatever you're supposed to do with these big, big rocks. I guess we're just breaking them up into smaller ones. And I do appreciate all of the new subs I'm getting. I can't believe I'm up to 16. I never would have dreamed that I'd end up with this many subs. It's just, it's crazy how people want to watch this old lady play a game and flap her jaws. It just, it just amazes me. It really does. But I'm loving every minute of it. I really, really enjoy playing these games and having people to put messages in the comments so I can talk back to them. I don't get out much because of what's going on these days. In fact, it, it's been forever since I've had a haircut and it's driving me nuts because I'm too afraid to get that close to somebody. So to actually have people comment that I can talk back and forth to, it, it, it makes me feel a little less, I don't know, it's not alone. Maybe in contact with the outside world. Maybe that's the word I'm thinking of. I don't know. But anyway, I do really appreciate it. And let's grab this food. And there's another piece. I know, I get sidetracked by fruit and veggies. I can't help it. I don't want to break that one up. Because, no, I guess it's not. I guess it's a regular. I thought that was clay, but I guess it's not. It's just a... Oh, well, it's, it's a rock, okay. I thought that was clay, so I wasn't going to mess with it right now, because I don't need clay right now. Let's grab that one. You should get right around 15 small stones out of one of those big ones. All right, and we'll pick up what we find on the way back. Oh, I see a potato plant. I'm sorry. Stop. You seen those signs, I stop for buses or I stop for yard sales or whatever? I stop for fruit and veggies. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have to cough and take a swig of coffee. Mm. We had a freeze warning out this morning. I'm in the beginning of April and, and we have freeze warnings. Supposed to have supposed to be freeze tonight and in the morning, tomorrow morning, or and tomorrow morning too. So we're, uh, of course, uh, it does help knock some of the bugs down. That should be enough to get this last one going. And there we go. We now have five furnaces. Now, do I have, yes I do. Let's take this. 
go out and fill up my firewood stand. And one thing about it, you can pick up your firewood stand and take it with you and fill it up. We used to be able to do that with the log stands, but the dev decided he didn't like that. So that's when he came out with the log cart instead, which I do appreciate. Uh, all right, I need a stick and a stone. There's my stone. There's a stick. We need sticks anyway. Alright, R. Go to your little anvil looking thing. So you need one stick, one stone, stone axe. And that way I'll hit my one button again and I've got an axe again. And there's some firewood. These stumps, that's all you, they give you is four pieces of firewood. But I need every log I can get for building and things, so I don't mind cutting down these logs. I just wish it wouldn't take as many hits as it does to get them. All right, go over here, hit E, start filling this up. I see another stick, so let's grab that because my stick stand is empty. Okay, let's go over and chop some of more of these. I must say, this area does have a lot of big rocks around, so... Seems like there's more here than there was at the place I was building the last season. Not as much flat land, but that's fine. Now that we can adjust our foundations, which I will be building up a little bit when I get ready to add on. I'm going to be trying some of that, that new uh, building, my mind went blank, uh, the new uh, uh, the heights of the foundations and see what kind of shapes and things we can come up with. I know, I'm, I'm just all over the place today. Okay, some other big uh, rainstorm. And I have forgotten to look to see what day it is. Here in the infected. Whether it's spring or are we going into fall or what? I want to get this uh, firewood stand as full as I can get it. is full so what I am going to do is I am going to do a little adjustment and let's see if uh, if I can get just a few more to carry in my pack. Because it usually takes five of the firewood to fill up one furnace. So it does take a lot. 
But if you're going to just stand there and keep making firewood or making uh, your uh, uh, ace words are hard today, making your uh, ingots and things like that, then uh, do I have room for that? Looks like I might. Alright. But if you're going to spend the day just standing there, or a long time standing there making ingots and things like that, where in the world is my door? There it is. Then uh, it's, it's well worth filling it up. You can use one drop of water from your flask and uh, that will that will uh, uh, put your fire out. Lost my train of thought there. Maybe I'll just shut up for a minute. Okay, that one's full. Get this one in. I like to start out with them full and then just add a piece every now and then. Of course, that means you spend a lot of time going back and forth getting firewood, but it's not any different than running back and forth and getting uh, logs or stones to smelt down. So I don't really mind. It just makes the game a little bit more fascinating, I guess. It's 6.30 in the evening. It's almost bedtime. Okay, they're all full. Let's put look at that. I've used just about all of my firewood. Let's go over here and empty my backpack before I start doing any smelting. All I'm doing is Alt, right click. If you already have one of that item in your backpack, it will just put it in the pile. I will drop off those sticks here in a little bit, but I would like to get some stones being smelted down to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got five forges. It takes two rocks per per forge. That's why I've got ten of the stones. And you can right or alt right click to put the put them in and you could use that to get them out. The only thing you can't do is put uh, the iron fragments in with the alt right click. You can put them in a box, but you can't alt right click them into the forge. All right, there we go. Now they're all going. Let's run out here and get rid of some of these sticks since it'll be a little bit before. And I see another watermelon. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, 
that because that'll bring some of my thirst up. Let's eat one of those. I got two of those. Okay. We're going to have to go on another protein hunt pretty soon. Let's harvest that watermelon. The watermelon spoils really fast. The watermelon and harvested fish are the two fastest spoiling items in the game. So if you're trying to get biofuel, just put throw some harvested fish and some watermelons into a box and you'll get biofuel before you know it. Or you'll get spoiled food before you know it. What am I doing in there? I don't want to get in there. I want to do that. I don't know where my mind is today. I really don't. I'm just not, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just not all there today. Let's grab some more stones. I'm not going to have enough. One row this way across this box is 10. There's our first fragments. You need five fragments to make one iron bar. Okay. And I should be able to get two bars. See, there's five fragments there. Five fragments there. So, don't, so I'll get two iron bars. And I've got two stones left over. So I'm going to have to go out and chop down some more rocks. But with the iron bars, first thing I will put in will be under placeables, and it will be this workbench. Because I will need that to make rope and other goodies like that. And I also want the iron cart. So let's put that down. That's under placeables. Other. Let's get this cart, log cart going. And I am going to want three drying racks, so I might as well go over here and put their placeholders down. Placeables, and this time I'm going to food. There's the drying rack. So I'm going to go one, Two, come on, line up three of those. I am also going to need a couple stone holders. So let's go ahead and get those ready to fill up, and that will be under placeables and under storage. These stone crates, that way I can 
pick up a lot more stones and can smelt that much faster. All right, since I don't have any stones left, what I am going to do is I'm going to take my ingots out. I am going to go over here and just drag my thermos over there or my flask or whatever you want to call it and put out the fire. Just click on your food bowl, left click and hold it down, go down here and it takes one drop. To put out your fire. It used to take a whole flask of water to put them out, but the dev was nice enough to change that. Over here, one more time. Put that fire out. Let's grab out our two ingots and I'm going to let this one run just a little bit longer because I do have another ingot that can be made. All right, what do I need to make this workbench over here? I am going to need 10 planks and 10 nails and I don't, no I don't, oh, all right. I also need to make, let's go back over to placeables, where is it at, here it is, I need to make an anvil before I can make anything else, so what do I need for it, eight planks and five iron ingots, I have two, so I'll go ahead and put those in there. Now, let's get some sleep, and I'm going to be starving when I wake up, which is nothing new. But what I am going to do, you've got five of these I call them MREs, but they're ration packs. But I want to, I'll just click on eat, and it will partially fill me up. Like I say, I've got five of them, so I might as well use them. I am going to go out. There you are. And there's breakfast. I'm sorry, Boar. I really am. But I'm hungry. And I know I am a long way from the water, but uh, it can't be helped. I will be building toward the water, but I wanted to basically put my little house in uh, this pretty much the center and that way I can build from all directions. Right, do I have any sticks? Let's dump those sticks in there. Let's get that lit. Let's drink that. Fill that up. I'm going to have to get some more water. And I think it should
should be time to say goodbye. I didn't really get all that much done today, but we did go out and find some food. And we got all the furnaces going and got some rocks and basically odds and ends. But so I guess we did get a little bit done. I think next time we probably need to work on a bow. Looks like I need to go out and kill some birds to get some feathers. Because it doesn't look like I have any feathers. Hmm. Now that's not a good, good thing to be. What am I doing? Okay, because this is May already, day 5, 8.04 a.m. Everything looks okay. Proteins are still low, but hopefully I can go fishing and get some of that taken care of. But yes, I am going to leave you. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, Please give me the thumbs up. That does help the channel. If you didn't, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. That's okay. But all I ask is please post in your comments why you did. Because I would love to be able to improve my channel. And the only way I can do that is through you guys telling me what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, how I can improve. Uh... Everybody else, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. I do answer each and every one of you. I do want to thank everybody who is subscribing to my channels. It still, it, it just amazes me every day. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this old lady blather on. Uh, hit that notification bell if you want to know when my next video is popping up. I do try to post at least one video every day. I do the infected and then usually late afternoon I'm doing uh, Trader's Life simulation or simulator which is a lot of fun to play. I'm having a blast with that. And then the next day I usually do Worm Unlimited which is another great game. And then it's back to the infected. So I just rotate these three games every day so far. Once I get my new computer, I will be adding another game to my list here. Oh, speaking of lists, if you get a chance, look under my description. There are names of other content creators listed there. I don't know how to put them into the links. So you'll have to look them up on YouTube. But they are great people. And they've got some wonderful content. So check them out. See what you think. Let me know if you like them. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. And everybody have a wonderful day. Goodbye.